The banking system is inherently very greedy, but when it comes to Africa, that greed is on a whole different level. And in this video, I dive into all there is to know about banking in Africa. In the West, the banking system sucks with regards to if you put your money in the checking account, the interest they give you is bizarre, it doesn't make any sense. So unless it's for emergency or something, you can never really make any real money on your money while the bank has it. When a bank has your money in the West or everywhere, the bank take your money as a liability to them and they're trying to get that money out as soon as possible. In the West, when you put your money in the bank, they give you 0.01%. You get essentially nothing on your money. You can have $100,000 in there. By the end of the year, you will get about $10 in each other. It's just crazy. So that is not something that you look at as an investment vehicle. However, they take your money and lend it out to other people for insane you know, interest rate, right? So credit cards are going for about 25% interest rate, personal loans, 12%, 13%, car loans, 6%, all of this. The bank is very one-sided, right? They take your money, they give you nothing. They charge you to take it out, ATM fees and all that stuff. But it's not as bad as Africa. So let's dive into Africa because in the West, you could screw the bank in a way because you could have your credit card. That's how most people actually start businesses. Those are known as unsecure loans. You could screw the banking system in America if you know how to use the system. There is a loophole, right? So... There is something known as unsecure loans, right? Like credit cards or personal loan that you don't put any collateral on. If you can't pay, there is really nothing the bank can do. If you have nothing to lose, right? If you're a broke person, you don't own a house, you don't own anything like that. The American system allows you to start from scratch. You can file for personal bankruptcy. Chapter seven means, you know, you are really broke and they wipe out all your debt and you can start from scratch. So I think there is a way to screw the banking system America if you don't know how to use the system. But in Africa, there is no way the banks are going to lose. In Ghana, I'm going to be talking about Ghana because that's what I know a lot about. In Ghana, you can have CDs account, which is a currency that we use down here, and a dollar account, all with the same bank. So for example, companies usually have CD account and a dollar account. This shouldn't be allowed, but that's the case. You can have a dollar account. And the reason behind that is because if I have a business, right? The CDs over the past two years has depreciated well over 100%, right? It was about 5.8 just like a year and a half ago, and now it's about close to 12. And it went to 15 at one point, it came down. So what most business people are doing is they do their business in cities because you have to do your business in cities in a way. You do your business in cities and then they deposit that money in the dollar account. So it doesn't lose a value uh, relative to the insane inflation in these developing countries. So that's the situation here. now. It becomes a huge problem. Just like in the West, you get nothing on your money. When you put the money in there, you get nothing. But you get penalized severely, especially if you're a businessman and you're trying to take payments in dollars, which is most of the case, that's what it is. If you have the dollar account, it has a routing account number and all that stuff. So most of the money that's coming from outside, right, is coming in the dollar account. And to take that money out of the dollar account, the banks are charging 3% on it. 3% to take your own money out as a businessman. And that could be a lot of money. If you are dealing with large numbers and these fees you can avoid it the only way to avoid that is by transferring that dollar amount to the cities if the exchange rate right now is going for one dollar equals 12 cities i'm making this up right now if one dollar is going for 12 cities the bank will be giving it to you for if you're trying to do that like avoid paying the three percent and trying to go directly from moving it from my dollar account to the city account the bank is going to give you an exchange rate of like maybe 11.20 or 11.30 and you're going to lose a lot of money. So it doesn't make sense. Sometimes you have to pay that 3% and try to go and change the money elsewhere where it can balance out the difference. It makes it really hard for business people. These banks are really greedy. They cannot lose in any way. It's very bad. The banking system in general is very greedy, but in Africa, it's on a whole different level, right? And it's very annoying trying to take out this money because there is a lot of scammers in Ghana, Nigeria, Africa in general. There's a lot of scammers everywhere. On his Instagram, private jets, fast cars, and throwing money into the air like confetti were only a few of the posts real estate mogul and social media influencer Hush Puppy was known for making. Little did he know, he was leaving a digital trail for all us here at the FBI, and that flaunting led us to the truth, a massive money laundering scam. In total, he had stolen 1.6 billion in United Arab Emirates Durham. It's a crime that will leave you speechless. But here, these banks use that reason to make your life really hard as a businessman. 
they can hold on to your money for like a month just playing politics when the money comes in like send me this send me that you should be writing letters just back and forth and you definitely over time have to have a relationship with a manager or something and try to buy them lunch from time to time to make your life easier because if not you you your business is gonna fail just because the banking system is just so annoying every money that touched down they look at you as a scammer and you have to go to hell to get your own money out and then they're gonna charge you this three percent for the dollar account it's very bizarre now let's look at the lending right so in the west though banks are very greedy they give you money for your car they give you money for your house you know though yeah they will come for you if you're messing up and all that stuff but at least they give money out while they're screwing people over they give that money out whereas here they do not give that money out and when they do give the money out they come in for collateral they do not give out unsecured loans in africa they have that mentality that you're gonna screw them and they need to know you have to put something on there you need the collateral in order for you to get a loan from the banks and then on top of having that collateral the interest rate is still insane still freaking insane you'll be looking at 20 percent 18 percent 25 percent 30 percent interest rate on our loan it makes it really hard and unappealing you just want to go for it because it just just doesn't make sense they do not take any chances like in the west you know you have your credit card you can take personal loan not going to be a lot but when I was trading, I took $15,000 personal loan for just having good credit, and that really helped me make a lot of money. You have that option in the West. Here, the banks, they're coming for your car. They're going to put their hands on something. That's not a secure loan. They do not give out unsecure loans out here. They need a secure loan, something that they... So they can't lose. And on top of it, if you can't lose, right, that's why mortgage rates and car loans are very low as compared to credit cards, because credit card is more risky to the bank because it's, it's unsecured. But in Africa... They want secure loan, and on top of it, they charge you this crazy interest rate. We got to do better. We got to do better because I feel like credit can help us move faster. Not credit for consumption, but credit for business. And they screw business people over. They make our life so difficult, and things will change over time. But that's the reality in the banking system in Africa. You really have to maneuver it. You have to understand it to save yourself some money. And I'm not even going to get into e-levy. Now you get penalized for spending money electronically in Ghana. It's crazy. It's bizarre. So you got to do a lot of checks and a whole bunch of stuff. It's crazy. This encapsulates how greedy the banking system in Africa is. It makes the citizen's life very difficult. And uh, if you've not subscribed to the channel already, kindly do so. Like this video as it helps to the algorithm. Comment. Let me know what you think. And until next time, my friends, legendary. Peace.